popular antennas that I would recommend for public safety are roof mount tri-band units. And these are actually specifically designed for all band radios, commonly used in VHF, UHF, and 7800. Very popular choice for any P25 RAM mobile radios. Another very popular choice is our standard flexi whip field tunable antenna. This is something that can be cut to a desired frequency. It's designed for rugged situations, tree branches, uh, debris, stuff like that, and it does last. So that is a very good product. Flexi whip antenna also is available in a magnet mount. You really need to be in a hurry. The magnet mount version of the field tunable antenna can be just instantly installed on a vehicle hooked up to a radio and you have a communication system. Multi-band and wide-band antennas, also known as all-band, um, those have really come onto the scene with the radio functionality. Years ago, you would have uh, multiple radios for all the different frequencies. So in your vehicle, you might have a VHF radio, a UHF radio, where now uh, a lot of these radios often referred to as all band radios. They accommodate all the frequencies into a single unit. And that's just really allows uh, agencies to operate at you know, a wide range of frequencies. They can communicate with other agencies as well, much easier MIMO technology. So that stands for multiple in, multiple output. You know, often used in public safety, bus industry, the rail industry, to some extent and that offers a higher level of technology and reliability compared to some of the older antennas. LTE, 5G, very common as well, are often used now in public safety. A big thing too is offering a rugged product, a product that is able to uh, operate in you know extreme temperatures, whether that be hot or cold, handle you know physical abuse. We do uh, put certain products of ours through environmental standards, and they they do meet uh, certain specifications to be labeled as uh, compliant with those standards. Agencies they do want more covert applications, where this is you know common, very commonplace in law enforcement. Even now, uh, we see public safety they they want something covert, something low profile, maintain kind of a low visibility uh, when necessary, and still be able to maintain their communication capabilities. The antennas have been used in security and surveillance for presidential elections and local government races uh, across the country major sporting events like the Super Bowl and Indy 500, are directly used in various government operations. Some of our antennas were used in the recent uh, manhunt for the state prisoner in Pennsylvania. So they're, they're used in all different applications, uh, but those would be some specific ones. Many public safety agencies that are seeking 5G, and that's just for high-speed data transfer, popular topic right now is AI artificial intelligence. How is that going to play into public safety? We haven't really gone into that too, too much yet, but you know, it could do things like kind of automating signal optimization. So if there's a specific frequency where it will get the best communication, you know, it may automatically know. Uh, another big one would actually be the use of drones when it comes to public safety. Being able to monitor an area, if there's a large crowd, having the ability to integrate that into kind of their, their kits and everything is uh, another very big thing that we've seen the rapid deployment. So what this kit does is it comes in form factor where it's just a rapid deployment. You can set it up in a matter of minutes, install your antenna on it and hook that up to your radio and be able to communicate quickly in the field. The diversity and form factor of antennas is always, you know, developing and changing. Uh, we try to stay at the forefront of that, especially with vehicle mounted antennas. You know, that is where we more specialize. 